one I've been playing around with for a couple of years. And that's, um, that's a pretty good result just now. Hold on, get down. Hi, I'm Matt from Motackle and Outdoors. Just chasing some flathead today out on the flats on a technique I like using that's not used by probably everybody. But out, out here today using the Western Hyper Tees. Uh, fantastic glide bait. And we're just using them just to tease a couple of big lizards. So at the moment I've just chucked us up on a flat where we're sort of in the shallowest position possible. We're on the top end of the, um, the running tide. And what I'm trying to imitate is a bait fish which is sort of coming up to hide on, on the flat on the um, on the top of the tide away from predators and as you throw it into slightly deeper water and retrieve back you'll have flathead laying there in ambush in all but no water um, waiting for the bait fish to commit to hiding on the flats up on on the top of the tide obviously that's uh, this is how I'll do it on a run in tide and for the run out tide I'll just do the opposite I'll get off the edge of the flat and I will retrieve a bait off it um, all it is is just trying to make your bait look like it's doing what a bait should at the time of the tide and then you'll find that you'll get in a position where the flathead are looking to ambush those bait so when i'm working a flat i'll look for slightly deeper depressions areas where i think the um the bait will be most likely to be concentrated through a, a better ambush system for both flow of water and and for the bait and that's where you'll well that's where i predominantly find my flathead sort of cluster and um, instead of just hitting one occasionally, when you, if you hit areas like that, you know, you could find two or three reasonably good fish sitting in one little spot, waiting, waiting for the bait to commit to coming up on the flat and the rising tide or to commit coming down off the flat on the falling tide. Using the Western Hyper Tees at the moment, um, honestly, it's bang for buck. Probably one of the most productive guide baits you can get. Like there's a lot of guide baits out there, but you know, this one for, for what it costs is as good a glide bait as any of the other dearer ones I throw. Um, I've been really happy with it. This one's probably one of my favorites. Out of the box, these things ready to swim. What you're looking for is a strong thin gauge hook because the issue with hitting flathead and especially big ones is they've got a really tough mouth and um, you've got to put a hook through that. They will crush a bait and hold it and you may not have them hooked. So often I get a big fish next to the boat and they will just open their mouth and let go. If you lean into something and it's got a lot of weight there, don't be afraid to hit it pretty hard and set that hook in there. And then from there, you know, you get, get nice soft hands and, and, um, and play them out to the boat, but, but you've got to get that hook in there. Actions, you know, sort of depending on the day, but um, for me, the most consistent one is just a nice long sweep. Take up your slack line, Keep attention, just like you're throwing a plastic. Keep attention on um, on your on your line as you want it in. You see any twitches or grabs? Um, sort of lean with and then hit him. And then occasionally when I'm coming in, sort of every two or three sweeps, I'll tend to chuck a little little twitch twitch, just like a bait fish is struggling with life, <laughs> like um, like he's going to be an easy feed. And that's pretty much how I'll throw them. That big long sweep just seems to be the most productive. You just sort of get two big long glides out of the bait and it just sort of sits there above their nose and, and begs to be eaten. So I just throw these on um, a Tatula swim bait, the 100 gram model, just a little 150 or, or 200 size bait caster reel. I'm using a at the moment, a Tatula. Um, and then I'll run 16 to 20 pound braid. I do like running a lighter leader. I'll run sort of down to a 16 to 12 pound leader with a little little bite tippet just for their rafty teeth. I'll chuck a 30 end on there. But to be honest, you can just run a, a fluorocarbon leader of 20 to 30 pounds straight through your, through to your lure. It's um, easier to set up, less knots. Catching good sized fish like this becomes um, relatively easy. Relatively easy if you're willing to put the time in. Just get um, up on that water that's sort of. 60 centimeters or to a meter, meter 20, even shallower if you like. And um, yeah, fingers crossed you can have as much fun as I did. I actually don't want to stand still anymore, but but um, yeah, they're just gorgeous to look at. So that's, you know, another part besides them taking off on the flats 100 mile an hour. They're just so much fun to look at after you catch one. And to watch, watch them swim away is just a, a real delight. We're sort of lucky to have it.